We're going to talk now about some collaboration tools, uh, which of course is now kind of more important than ever, right? But especially for nonprofits where you're wearing multiple hats, you're doing a lot of things at once. You've got, you know, a staff that is doing a lot of different types of jobs and you need to work really together well as a cohesive unit. Um, the first one we're going to cover is G Suite because it, it is so many tools in one. So basically, if you're not familiar with G Suite uh, or the suite of tools Google has, um, it's basically using all of their tools, for instance, Gmail, the calendar, Google Drive, all of those things with your organization at an organizational level. So instead of different people having their own kind of Gmail accounts, what you have is one unified system where people have an email address at your domain, you know, like at arcstone.com. We run our company on G Suite, and many nonprofits do. They offer a pretty heavy discount for nonprofits, which is nice. So the thing about G Suites that is so nice is any team size really can take a huge advantage. If you even have just two people or have 2,000, there are so many things you can gain from this. And it's accessible from anywhere. So really any device like mobile phones, tablets, computers, anything, and anywhere you can get an internet connection, you're gonna be able to get into your suite of applications. And they all work together incredibly well and are incredibly easy to use. And it's a very uh, unified system. So the main components are Google Docs, uh, which is where you kind of deal with your straight up text information. Uh, Google Sheets, which is your spreadsheets. Uh, you can do incredibly powerful things in Google Sheets. And actually, Google Sheets can be used as a connector for Data Studio. So for instance, if you had incredibly custom data you wanted to show in a reporting tool and you had no way to do it, you know, no other way besides to, man to manage it in a sheet, you could do that. Google Slides, which is actually what you're watching right now. This entire webinar is done with Google Slides. Uh, Google Forms which is a really great way to do surveys or collect information, do polling, stuff like that. Um, definitely not, you wouldn't do any e-commerce through it, but for anything where you're not collecting sensitive information, it's great. You know, don't put critical sensitive information like social security numbers in it or anything like that. Uh, Google uh, Drawing, which is a cool tool for doing all kinds of drawings and shapes and different things. And then Google Sites, which is sort of a very, very simplified website tool. Not something you would actually build your organization's website in, but say you wanted to have an intranet for employees to keep all your policies and things like that, it's a great place. Say you wanted a little mini website for volunteers where you have like a volunteer kit. Here's what you're supposed to do. Here's the different things and instructions. It's a really good way to do stuff like that and not have to have a full-blown website for it, you know? And of course, you can use your domain. So you can, with G Suites, you can use your organization's uh, domain um, and you can have a centralized system of storage. So all the storage for your email, your Google Slides and Google Drive and all that's in one place. Um, and they have great support. Um, it's actually one of the few Google things that has really good support. I mean, try to get support for, you know, Google Analytics, good luck with that. But uh, this is something they actually support. Uh, and they have great admin, admin controls and tools across the organization. So you can put someone in charge of managing different things and they'll be able to do that. Um, and it gr works great on mobiles. Uh, they have uh, migration tools too to migrate into this. So we're um, a Google partner. I'm actually drinking out of my Google partner mug right now. And uh, so we can help like transition you into G Suites if you're on something else. They have a, a good way to do that. Uh, like I was saying, across all devices, you can be editing a, a document on your couch, on your tablet, and then go to your computer, and all of those changes will be already there in real time. So it's really real-time collaboration and editing. You can have 10 people editing the same document, and everyone can see their notes, and you can manage the changes. Um, so the basic plans, it's, it's a per-user model of pricing, so it's per-user. Uh, and if you are part of the Google nonprofit program, there is a free option. It does not include everything that the business does uh, or, or some of the other plans, but it does include most of the critical things and it's completely free. So um, Google does offer a ton of stuff for nonprofits. Lisa mentioned the ad grant program where they give you free advertising. 
There's a, a nonprofit YouTube program for running uh, YouTube and getting a bunch of features only nonprofits get. Uh, so definitely Google is a great source if you're not using a lot of Google tools. Uh, there's a lot there they can offer for you. So definitely check that out. Um, another tool we're going to talk about a little bit is Basecamp. Basecamp is a phenomenal project management tool. It is what we've used for a very long time. It is almost in the sort of internet agency industry, almost become kind of the de facto standard. So it has all the basic project management things in it, like to-dos, milestones, calendars, message threading, file sharing, instant messaging, um, all those kinds of things. And you can manage one project or you can manage a bunch of projects through it. So it's got a great centralized dashboard where you can see everything that's going on, all the latest messages, to-dos you might need to do, new files that have been uploaded, their chat system, which is called Campfire. Um, and they even have some automatic automation tools like automatic check-ins. Uh, so you can be pushing a question out to all of your uh, staff every day and have it automatically, you know, have them get that and answer it and have that be uh, in a big list where you can review questions. It's really good for kind of keeping on top of what's happening. Um, the, they have the, your standard kind of message system that's threaded, which is really nice. It keeps all the threads of a topic in one place. It's very easy to search, see who's commenting on what, and it integrates fully in your email too. So, which is great because you're already going to be in your email all day anyways. So, uh, even though the, the Basecamp app and most of the screenshots I'm showing are from the app that you download, it looks just like the website too, but the app is nice because it's really integrated into your, you know, your computer. Um, but a lot of people don't even go to it. Um, they're getting messages through email and you can reply. So you can hit reply and that message thread replies right in your email like normal, but also goes into Basecamp. So someone says, hey, do you have that new logo file? If the if that message comes from Basecamp, you can just hit reply in your email, attach the new logo file that will go right into Basecamp and upload the file for you. Uh, and you can get a, a digest too of all the activity, which is really cool. Uh, it's really good for seeing all of your work at a glance. That's kind of really the cool main thing. You can see all your work at a glance. You can hit a button that says my stuff and see everything that's assigned to you any messages you've bookmarked, your full schedule, any drafts of messages you haven't sent yet, all your recent activity, it's, it's quite cool. So um, they have changed their pricing model over the years and, and now they have kind of a flat fee model um, and they do have other plans and other add-ons and stuff like that, but basically whatever you choose, they will give you a 10% discount as a nonprofit. So you submit your, your paperwork and they approve you and then whatever plan and pricing you're picking or add-ons, you get 10% off of everything, which is pretty cool. So now we're gonna talk about Zoom, which I'm sure a lot of people have heard of now. They're kind of having a moment, right? Definitely having a moment with uh, everything that's going on, uh, you know, you know, the Saturday Night Live is doing their show through Zoom and Conan O'Brien and it's so it's kind of uh, been elevated to pop culture now. But a lot of people don't realize what Zoom can actually do. Uh, many people use small pieces of Zoom. And in fact, you're using Zoom right now because we're doing this webinar through Zoom. But what Zoom actually is, is a complete communication platform, including everything you can think of. Uh, we use Zoom as our platform and that's actually what our phones are even through. When you call our company on a normal phone, um, it's we're using Zoom as our, our phone system. So it can be if you want your phone system, instant messaging and chat, meetings, webinars, streaming to things like YouTube and Facebook, rec screen recording and sharing, and you can make videos in it and then download the video later if you need to edit it. It has very robust video technology, some of the best that I've seen in these types of systems. And it has very, very wide hardware, uh, hardware support. So you can run it on your computer, on your phone, on Mac and PC. You can run it on a tablet. Um, you can even integrate it into your other applications and websites. Um, many times you may be using some kind of other system and not even realize that Zoom is the one providing the video technology behind it. So it can be integrated into other things. Um, and it's got a, a free version as well, which many people are taking advantage of now. 
Um, and fortunately, there is no sort of dedicated nonprofit discount right now. However, I bet you that comes sometime soon. They're facing a ton of pressure from the market because so many nonprofits are actually finding this a valuable tool. So uh, the settings are this. I was tweaking my video settings last night, actually, and took this, this uh, screen capture. There are tons of settings. Um, you can tweak uh, your hardware and your camera to make it look really nice, your audio. You can really customize the entire Zoom experience really well. Um, it has a lot of advanced options. If you know what you're doing, you can really get the best video quality. And it kind of seems like they thought of everything, like they thought of all the major things you would need. For instance, I've been in another webinar platform that I, that I used to use and, and it, there was no option to automatically silence your computer noises. You know, so if you got an email, you'd hear like this ding in the middle of your webinar. And you know, uh, so all that is actually, you can tweak those settings in Zoom. So for instance, by default, they kind of silence your computer while you're doing a webinar so you don't get interrupted. So for audio, it, like I said, it can be your complete phone system. You can call normal phones through it, through your computer. I also have it on my mobile phone so I can use it as my business phone uh, and don't have to get you know, a separate phone line. Um, so you can do audio calls too, which is really great over computers and phones and mix them all together and it doesn't really matter. When you call a meeting and wanna create a meeting and have people call in, they can call in from all those different devices and it all kind of works seamlessly. And the video uh, handling, like I said, is very good. And there's a lot of different ways to use it. So this is actually from one of our company meetings. And I just wanted to show this because uh, even though Zoom is a very serious, awesome tool, you can do a lot of things. And it's fun too, you know. This was from one of our company meetings and it just shows how well it can handle video meetings with a lot of people. And so we've got Matt there, he's in outer space and Dan is up in the North Woods and uh, Sydney for some reason is a banana. Uh, and uh, Laura's a potato there. So like uh, there's some fun features too, like uh, fun effects. Um, so with the video technology, you can do video calls one-to-one -one really easily. It's one of the simplest ways to do that. You can do these huge meetings with many different people. Um, you can do the webinars and kind of demonstrations and screen sharing uh, and help people troubleshoot things uh, through their computer. Um, so one thing about video is, is, is works almost on anything, but good hardware will make a difference. For instance, right now I have a pretty good, I'm using a camera that was maybe, I think about $100. It's kind of the higher end, you know, webcam. So the better the, the camera, the better the microphone, all that stuff, uh, it can make a big difference. It can make your video look really good. Um, and of course it has really good recording and streaming. So they have options to actually record to the cloud. Uh, so automatically, as your meetings are happening, they can automatically be recorded. You don't have to worry about running out of space on your device. That's especially nice for tablets, phones, things with kind of limited storage. Um, so that's nice. You can record to your device, to the cloud. Um, you can choose what components are recorded. Uh, and you can actually stream too, which is very cool. A lot of people want to do uh, maybe stream on YouTube or stream on Facebook or reach out to their reach out and engage to people or even just to teammates maybe if you have a private page or company page and they don't know how to do that uh, um, and maybe share their screen and do other things as well, right? And have multiple people stream together. So whenever you have a meeting started uh, in Zoom, uh, you can go under the more options button and there's a button there for streaming. So once you've started something, you can decide to stream it to YouTube or Facebook, which is very cool. Uh, you can even do uh, HD recording. It re can record in pretty high quality. And uh, I've downloaded and edited those recordings too after the fact, and that's, that's kind of nice. So webinars, like right now you are watching a webinar powered through Zoom. Um, and it's a, actually a really great webinar platform. It kind of handles everything where some platforms don't. It's registration and other components, but not the video or it's video, but they don't let you develop a registration page in the tool itself. So Zoom can kind of handle everything if you want, or you can use other processes, registration things to tie into it. But it has a lot of really great webinar features like the chat, the Q and A, the polls, uh, you can have co-hosts and panelists. Uh, and it's, it's uh, the basic webinar platform. The webinar is an add-on system, but out of the box, it's up to a I think it's 100 participants, uh, which is pretty good. 
to do webinars though or other things through this, definitely some best practices to keep in mind. Um, set a good password. So uh, some people have forgotten to enable passwords and they will get random people joining their meetings, which you definitely don't want. Uh, and typically we disable chat for something like a webinar. Uh, otherwise you would have the Q&A and the polls in the chat and it's just too much to look at. So if you wanna interact with your webinar audience, use uh, the Q&A, that's the preferred method. And definitely turn off audio and video for the participants so you don't have random people chiming in. Uh, and I typically set no authentication, meaning that people don't have to have a Zoom account and be logged in. So we don't require that part, but we do require a password, of course, just, just for safety. And then definitely set your polls and set your passwords and all that stuff ahead of time. So when it's time to launch your webinar, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So for pricing, like I said, there is no direct discount now for nonprofits, but I hope that's coming soon. And I think it is. They do for education. If you're in the education industry, there are some free things and, and different things they're doing. So there's a discount there. Um, and, they, and even on the free account for educators or education institutions, they've removed some of the things that would normally be there, like uh, some of the limitations so, so for the free version like you, there's unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings and stuff, but, but once there's more than two participants, the meetings have a 40 minute cap on the free version. Uh, there's no cloud recording on the free version. You can't do add-ons like webinars or some of the more advanced add-ons either in the free version, but they do have plans that start pretty low, uh, $15. For what it does, if you're gonna actually use everything it does, it's a pretty phenomenal deal.